do visible links have a greater PR score than hidden links? And currently I cannot tell you. All I can say is that there doesn't seem to be an actual distinction. There's nothing pointing it out. By the way, for people who say, you know, what's the value of having more than one backlink on a page? Well, look anyway, link pages. There's two different pages that are linked to from this website. Two different pages of the same website. Google's counting all that. Uh, in this case, 12. There's 79 links. Oh, that's from YouTube. I was going to say 12 is wild. I wonder who was doing that. Different websites have backlinks, like six, things like that. Uh, different pages that they backlink cycle between all the way around. So these are big projects that are really, really cool that just made the point and shove, shove things up. For all I know, I'm close to a page rank four. It's like a 10 fold leap to get from a page rank three. You got to have page rank three like 10 times in a row to finally have a page rank four. But all you do is keep tacking on more as you go. It's really not hard. Get any websites. Most of those, I do not own them. Other people loan them to me. They loaned them to me in exchange for me doing projects to share the results with them. They weren't using the pages on the site. We could create a side project, so like a side folder. Just put a quiet little almost invisible link to the side folder. You could even do it with a hidden link. I actually have seen some websites do that. And that way those pages get indexed anyway by Google. And whatever page get indexed counts. The backlinks off the page counts and it drives your score up. And that means you rank for whatever it is you're putting in your page title and your meta description, your links and the body. And so that's the only two things you got to do. Run a lot of those up and just make sure that your page includes some of the wording. And you're going to outrank so many people so often that way. And if they beat you back, what do you do? Another 45 minute run or 15 minute run, whatever. Per website, it's no issue. And the final part is that with Emoji Pro, we set it up so your computer can keep doing it for you on a schedule, like every Wednesday at 2 a.m. It just generates more pages for all your websites for you with the coding you want, uh, the, the keywords pointing at the pages, that combination. So it's a really big deal. Here's something that has changed. We were telling people to use phrases that include the keyword in the anchor text. Now we're finding, after all this testing, it doesn't matter. Just go straight for the wording. You know, if you use the phrases, then you get one backlink says Kentucky, whatever, website marketing. Another one says some other city website marketing. Well, Google seems to be relating those to those words, and that's where it goes after. The idea is eventually get website marketing. May or may not be the case. It's kind of hard to prove. But what we do know is if you just go for the website marketing, and of course, website marketing is massive. There are websites out there with 300,000 backlinks for website marketing, so don't do that. That's just too big. Uh, but go after whatever you can grab that has visitors, which is the majority of keyword combinations anyway. Uh, the point is just put in the keywords you want. Cycle through five, maybe, or eight, or three when you're generating a thousand pages, so you get 300 backlinks per keyword, or a thousand backlinks per keyword, pointing at the same page. Same keyword, same page if you want. That kind of thing. Keep it short, sweet, simple. That just erases so much of the training and so much of the difficulty of explaining things. Put the keyword and the page. Another interesting question that came up, like if you look at the financial RX system, what I, what I kind of showed you, you sort of saw, was that was the Moji sample website, completely just the way it is, okay? And so you can take the same website and put it up on multiple domains with thousands of pages each. And there, that website right now is probably on 20 or 30 different domains completely. The very same website, the same images, the same template, the same style sheets, everything's the same. Somebody asked me, how many unique pages can you make with one VAR sheet or one placeholder website? And the answer is probably 54 million that you can spread across hundreds if not thousands of domains because the content's going to come out unique and Google's going to count it. And so you can you just keep putting the same placeholder website on every new domain you get your hands on anyway and just keep creating more links on each domain. Just keep building up more pages, a few more domains. You know, um, pages count the most, okay? If you have one website and you just keep putting pages on it, you're probably going to get something to rank very, very well. But if it's a more competitive keyword, like in my case, website marketing Seattle, where all the website marketers in Seattle are really savvy guys, then you're going to need more domains, two, three, four, five. And again, the project I did involved like 
eight seriously, okay? And we pushed for a lot of pages up. It was like 45 minutes of work. And that's just crazy. A lot of the backlinks that led to me, they existed already. They lead to me with other terms completely. They don't have anything to do with Website Marketing Seattle. Okay, but the Website Marketing Seattle backlinks I generated uh, accounted for probably, oh, like 16,000 pages or more spread across maybe eight domains. And that actually got me all the way to number nine on the front page for Website Marketing Seattle even though I only used the word Seattle on the whole web page twice, once in the title, once in the body. <laughs> and and website marketing Seattle is a phrase like once in the title. <laughs> and that was it. Literally it. Emoji Pro. Same thing now. Backlink Moji Pro for website marketing Seattle. And it showed up at its best. Page two number one. It almost made it to the front page. Almost for website marketing Seattle. Isn't that nuts? Now, what do I have to do to shove them on the front page? Like I said, optimize the wording a little better on the site. Just get the wording into the page a little more and wait, wait for Google to recache the page, and that'll do it. And if it's not quite enough, just run out some more backlinks with the same wording, and that will do it. That's it. Okay.